The Biden administration is hunting for malicious computer code it believes China has hidden deep inside the networks controlling power grids, communication systems, and water supplies that feed military bases in the United States and around the world, according to American military, intelligence, and national security officials. The discovery of the malware has raised fears that Chinese hackers, probably working for the People's Liberation Army, have inserted code designed to disrupt U.S. military operations in the event of a conflict, including if Beijing moves against Taiwan in coming years. The malware, one congressional official said, was essentially a ticking time bomb that could give China the power to interrupt or slow American military developments or resupply operations by cutting off power, water, and communications to U.S. military bases. But its impact could be far broader because that same infrastructure often supplies the houses and businesses of ordinary Americans, according to U.S. officials. The first public hints of the malware campaign began to emerge in late May, when Microsoft said it detected mysterious computer code and telecommunication systems in Guam, the Pacific Island with a vast American air base, and elsewhere in the United States. More than a dozen U.S. officials and industry experts said in an interviews over the past two months that, chi that the Chinese effort predated the May report by at least a year. And that the U.S. government's effort to hunt down the code and eradicate it had been underway for some time. Most spoke on a condition of anonymity to discuss con confidential and in some cases classified assessments. They say the Chinese effort appears more widespread in the United States and at American facilities abroad than they initially realized. But officials acknowledge that they do not know the full extent of the code's presence in networks around the world. To keep you updated on these developments, there's a fairly lengthy report coming from dnyuz.com. I'll leave the link down below. What are your thoughts and concerns? As usual, leave them down as well. And we'll talk to you soon at the next TNS report. See you then.